back to my channel. We are here in Miami. We just checked into our hotel room. I'm gonna give you guys a little room tour. You walk into this cute little living room area. You have this really cute mini bar. They have filtered water, which is so, so nice to have. Bunch of yummy snacks. We just picked this up ourselves. Espresso maker, cute little patio. Got this mirror right here. This is the bathroom, so pretty. Shower, tub, I wanna live here. And we have the bedroom, or whatever, the bed. So nice, I'm obsessed. A little closet area. Steam, oh, it comes with a steamer, that is so nice. I didn't even have to bring mine. Then we have this cute little view of the city. We're about to change and then head to the pool or the beach. It's four o'clock right now and then we're probably gonna get dinner around like eight o'clock, so. All right, y'all, it is now time for dinner. I wanna show you guys my dinner fit. Let me go in a full mirror. The lighting here is so terrible, so I don't even know what my makeup looks like in the real light. I'm just wearing this dress from Zara last year, a pair of Irma sandals. I'm keeping it simple tonight. We're going to Makoto, Makoto, I think it's what it's called. And their vibe seems a little more laid back. Just have my YSL purse that I'm carrying today. And super simple, it's so humid here, so I just do my hair back because it's getting so frizzy and gross. So this is the vibe. You guys, so I don't know if you watch like Very Cavalier or not, but I did. And I don't know if you guys know Justin Anderson, but I do from the show and I love him. He's the best, I've been following him for years. He's like the best guy ever. And yesterday or two days ago, I seen on his Instagram that he was here and I'm like, oh my God, he's here at the one hotel. So excited. And I'm like, I know I'm gonna see him as soon as I come to the hotel. I get to the lobby, check in, go upstairs to the rooftop today to uh, grab lunch because we had an early morning flight and then we we're starving so i go up to the rooftop i'm trekking in i see kristen sitting directly across from me but i needed my id to eat at the restaurant well he knows the hills and um and then uh what's it called i seen kristen and then I didn't have my ID because it have to be 21, so I had to come back down, get my luggage because my room wasn't ready, get my ID was in my luggage, grab my ID. Then as soon as I get back in the elevator, the first people when I opened when the elevator opened, Justin Anderson was outside and his uh, partner, or fiance or whatever, Scoop. And I just looked at them like, oh my god. Then like all day I've been like starstruck. Then we came back from dinner, came back to the one hotel. And then we walked to the bar. I'm just walking in, minding my business. And right here, these three seats, Kristen, Scoot, and Justin are all sitting there. I'm hearing them talk everything. And I'm like, John, what do I say? Cause I don't want to be a creep. I don't want to bother them. I know they're like doing their own thing. So I'm let, I'm, I let them be. John's like, just let them be. We'll see them tomorrow at the pool. We can talk to them then. And I'm like, it's gonna look creepier. We've ran to them multiple times now. And I'm not saying anything to them. They're gonna be like, why is this girl like seeing us constantly and not saying anything? I seen them looking at us. So it's so weird, but I don't know. Like, what do you say to these people? I know they don't like to be bothered, they like their privacy. So like, what do you say to not be that annoying fangirl? Because I wanna be like, I love you guys. You guys are the best, but I don't want them to be like, you're fucking annoying, get the fuck away from me. But I just can't believe We're just literally sitting here. Oh, Makoto, by the way. Delicious, super good. Everything is kind of like pretty salty. I'm not like a huge salt girl, but super good. Um, we got the beef, some kind of beef noodles. Really good, highly recommend. We got spicy tuna. It was okay, not the best I've had. So like that's not a must get. Um, we just got like a bunch of things to share because I wasn't too hungry, so. But it was really good. And I seen a housewife in Miami, one of them. The one with the blonde, long hair. I don't know her name, but I've seen her. 
Good morning, you guys, and happy 4th of July. Sorry about this dark ass lighting. Um, I'm up, I'm at it, we're about to go to the gym. I'm wearing this super cute Aritzia set that I cannot stop wearing. It is in the color Lemoncello. I love it. This is the first time I've ever actually used a hotel gym, so I'm excited. And it's super nice there, actually. So, feeling groggy and tired and stuff, but we're gonna get it done. Feel so much better. And then we're just gonna lay out by the pool today. Workout was complete. So good. So glad I moved my body on vacation. It feels so good. So now we're headed to the pool. I just have on this cover up from Lioness and this Hansa G bikini. Fewer sunglasses and then just easy slides. Super comfortable and cute. Lunch time at the one. Yummy. All right, y'all, time for dinner. I'm doing this dress that I got from Zara last year, and for some reason it was like dirty in my suitcase. So I've been scrubbing it, just like it had some black stain on it. I don't know if you can tell. I'm just kind of keeping it ruffled up so you can't see. Take a bag, hair in a slick bun again because this humidity has got the best of me. So super simple and cute. Good morning, you guys. We went to Claw last night for dinner, as you guys seen. It was so, so good. Super good food, um, probably one of the best steaks I've ever had, but I will say it's like a super fancy vibe. It's not like crazy Miami drinks party vibe, so if you're looking for that, definitely go there, but super fancy and nice, so highly recommend. Now we're going to the pool. I feel so hungover and shitty. We were drinking all day yesterday by the pool, so I don't know, today I'm like taking it easy. Um, I'm just wearing this brown, plain brown Skims bikini and this Princess Polly little beach cover up. I've been sucking at vlogging. I'm going to change that around. We're going to show more, but I mean, we're not really doing anything besides like being literally in the pool. So I don't know what to show, but anyways, I want to update you guys. We went to the pool yesterday and then at the pool bar, I seen Justin Anderson, so I finally said hi to him and talked to him. He's sweet as you would imagine if you follow him. He's just awesome, such a nice guy. So I finally got the courage and said hi, so that's exciting. But yeah, that's it. I don't know what we have planned today, but obviously I'll keep you all informed. We just came downstairs to the hotel lobby. They have a cute little coffee bar. I got a nice vanilla latte. What'd you get? What's that? A latte. Oh, just regular latte? Yep. Looks so good. Their coffee is really good here, actually. Little pool day with That's some it. coffee. Oh, thank you. Brought us a pitcher of water. Looks so nice out today. Just got some lunch, got a sushi roll, some chicken noodles, some wings, and french fries. So we were at the pool all day today, obviously. And then we got back to the room and we just haven't been feeling well. And I was gonna, you ready? And we were gonna cancel our dinner reservations and just not go, because we weren't feeling good. And then just 10 minutes before we had to leave, John's like, get ready, we're going. So I literally threw this face of makeup on real quickly. I'm wearing this outfit from Meshki. I'm wearing just flats. I wanted to wear heels and do a whole look, but not feeling good, obviously, and I just can't do it. My hair's still soaking wet in a clip, so it's gonna frizz up and look crazy. I don't know what to do with it, but it's fine. We're rolling with it, as long as we have a good time. You guys, this is the cutest little place. It's so romantic and cute. We got prosciutto as a starter, mozzarella. It's nice time it's raining. I just got some hot water with a mint. Hopefully this saves the day. But seriously, cutest little place ever. Highly recommend. So, so romantic and such a cute vibe. I feel like I'm in Italy. Yeah. I got the bolognese. John got a whole bronzino. And 
the sides. Good morning, you guys. Wanted to show you my outfit of the day today. We're going to uh, Miami Design District and then we're gonna go grab some breakfast at Pura Vida. I think we might go to um, Brickell, like city center as well. It just depends how we're feeling. I'm wearing this t-shirt from Realization Par. This skirt is Amanda Uppercher from Revolve and then just a pair of Adidas Sambas, cute little casual outfit. Probably gonna die of heat with my hair down. It's gonna get so frizzy, but it's fine, whatever. Um, last night we went to Casa Tua, which you guys seen, it was really, really good. So highly recommend you check it out if you come here. But yeah, gonna go grab some coffees and a little breakfast at Pura Vida. All right, for breakfast, I just got this sourdough with cream cheese. It has some smoked salmon on it, pickled onion, and then I just got some iced coffee here at Pura Vida. And the design district, this looks so good. I got we're just walking through the design district now. Here's the new kids store that we're about to go into. Super cute and quiet. Everything opens in just a couple minutes, so super dead right now. I really apologize about this lighting. This is just crazy. I know they're all about like an eco-friendly hotel, but damn, can you even see me? So we just got back from the design district, um, got breakfast, and I just really only wanted to go there to see the new kit. Went to a few stores. Um, I went to the Hermes store to see if they had these sandals I've been wanting, but they're just sold out everywhere. So, only item we got was from Kip. Just got a plain little t-shirt. And it's just a cream color. I love having big old baggy t-shirts to wear and it just says Kip in the corner. So cute, comfy. Cozy, I love oversized tees, if you don't know. So, just got that. Today's our last full day, so we're going to go to the pool, beach, whatever John is feeling. And then, yeah, we have no dinner reservations tonight, which is actually kind of nice, because I feel like my vacation literally revolves around um, like dinner reservations. Not that it revolves around it, but like, the timing, it's like I just want to chill, take it easy, you know, go when I feel like, even I feel like, so taking it easy tonight. Kind of don't feel like doing the whole fancy dinner. Who knows, my mind can change by tonight, but super chill and a relaxing day. We're tired. This like sun and drinking and everything is really starting to get to us, so we're just laying low today. Just washed my face off. Now we're going to the pool. I'm just wearing this. Super cute Skims bikini, a Princess Polly beach cover up, and this necklace that I got off of Amazon that I am obsessed with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chill by the pool. We got shots by the pool. Patron, baby. Where should we put the tequila or the lime? Oh, I have to hold the camera. Let me put it on your phone. Cheers. Cheers, Oh my god, it's so bad. That's really disgusting. Yeah. Alright y'all, off to dinner. We don't have any, any reservations tonight. It's like 6.15 right now. I'm hoping that we can get into Carbone. I don't know if we can or not, but we'll try. So I just threw on this dress tonight. It is from Revolve, Amanda Uppertured. And then just plain heels, Bottega bag, and yeah, John, I don't know, I think John's a vlogger over there too. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I'm checking the Uber, I'm vlogging. We're starving, and hopefully we can get in because we didn't really eat too much lunch. So, let's get it. You guys, you're able to get in. I'm so excited. Yummy. So we're at Carbone. Like I just said, 15,000 times. John, get closer. Got espresso martinis. Bye. It was so hard to prop you guys up with this angle. So make sure you appreciate it and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Follow my doo doo. John, do not say that. Ugly ass nickname. <laughs> Carbone, amazing. Must try.
Let's try. Look at this. Look at show, them, show them this bread. This is the bread that they give. Oh my god, it's delicious. The garlic bread, insanity. They give you the salami complimentary, delicious. Um, pickled cauliflower, which is actually my favorite pickled item. So good. And then some kind of dry aged cheese. So, so good. I look like I'm obsessed with myself just recording. Fresh. So I gotta go. Favorite restaurant. I did some salt, pecorino and cheese, the dressing, extra virgin olive oil, Worcestershire sauce. Sounds delicious. Black pepper. Table side Caesar, that's fire. Got a commentator. Delicious. Truly nothing better. John got the veal marsala. We literally got the same exact. No, no, veal parmesan. No, parmesan. Parmesan. We got the same exact meal when we were in Vegas. Give it, give it a try. Tell us what you think. If you guys have never been to Carbone, please go. Exquisite. New York, Delicious. Vegas, Miami. Amazing. Miami is a Turkish takeover. He hasn't really eaten anything today. Mm. Mm. Good, good. I'm already full, so I don't know what I'm Dope. doing. Dope. All right, y'all. That is a wrap on the Miami vlog. We are just packing up this morning. And we're going to head out and go to the airport. It was such a fun, relaxing trip. We literally just lay by the pool most of the time, which is exactly what we needed. So super nice and relaxing. And now I'm ready to head back home and get back into my routine. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.